Hello everyone. Right, yesterday on the PSN store for PS4, Resident Evil Code Veronica was added to the PS2 Classics list. Now I have played this game a couple of times before. If you watch any of my videos you might, might know that Resident Evil is by far my favourite gaming series. Closely followed by Metal Gear Solid and Silent Hill. But even though Code Veronica is one of my fondest Resi games, for some reason, I've not played it as well, nowhere near as much as the others. And it's been some years since I've uh, played Code Veronica. And if I remember correctly, the gameplay is very much like old school Resi 2, Resi 3 gameplay in terms of how it controls. And I think it's probably going to be the X button to shoot rather than the shoulder buttons, which you got with Resi 4. But anywho, I'm going to jump straight into this now. So expect me to be as rusty as hell. Because I remember very little. But I think that's going to be part of the fun. So without further ado, let's get started. And these playable running demos are trying to add this to the, get me going. Even though I'm getting harassed by loading screens. Right, without further ado, let's go. Resident Evil. Get the Veneca. And it sounds like I'm getting attacked during any of my gameplay videos. The I'm American kids, Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has everywhere. been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris, and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. My God! Three months later, Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, oh, one of the surviving members of RPG's famous visual. STARS team. Well, Shitter has hit it and 
And obviously this game isn't a remaster. It's the original PS2 Code Veronica X game, which is basically being spruced up best it can with a 1080p overlay, basically. But it's also got full trophy support, and I think it's 11.99. It's our RP on the PS and store at the moment, brand new. Obviously, it's brand new in terms of it's only been released this week on PS4, but you get a 10% discount this week, so saves you one pound twenty. Better than the poker and all with rusty stick, I guess. But I mean, it's probably going to be eight quid in the next three months. But if you want to play it now, you can save a, a quid or so, or a dollar and a bit if you're from if you're from the states. Equipped with a later, I could see outside. Oh, I love those old Resi sounds. Get ready for the. <laughs> but you, you didn't see him stood there. I suppose he's not got a pack of cigarettes to. Tucked away in this short sleeve t shirt there. Ah, yes, if you get some medicine, we can come back and save him, and he gives you a, a bonus item. Perfect. Go on, get out of here. So I'll keep looking for them. Finished. If I remember correctly, it evolves a bit of a trick back, but it's worth it. Forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. He's gonna sit there and feel sorry for himself. Right, ooh, jeez, okay, yeah, so this is probably old Resi, so square one. Because I remember correctly, Code Veronica, yeah, circles run. Now, for some reason, I expected square to be run. Um, let's have a play about these options, that's going to throw me off guard. Here we go, right. Screen setup, can I have no? I want to see if I can have uh, subtitles if I can. So, can I do anything? Oh, not a great deal. Uh, so, I want square to be one. So, that seems to be exactly the same, apart from my square button. Switched of X. Okay, let's try this one. No, you crack your old PS2 8 meg megabyte memory card. Obviously, because these PS2 classics are emulators, essentially. Good to know I've got enough space. Well, that seems better. There's my phone going off. X to select. Triangle inventory. Right touchpad brings up... No, right... Triangle is map, right touchpad is inventory. Look at this just so I can clear it out. Yep, 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 yep. No! Okay, so square. Now, 
No, this is going to throw me off guard. This is going to throw me off guard. I need circle to be cancelled. That's throwing me off even more than anything else. Do you know what? I'm going back with A. Um, I want, I want to search in here for a bit first, just to see. Sorry for backtracking. It'll bug me if I don't go back now. Is there a herb in here? Yes, I knew it. So it might be this case, even though I've forgotten what... A lot of what happens in this game. I remember some key moments, but I think hopefully with a bit of luck as I play it, bits are going to come to mind. All right, now let's get out of here. Oh no, there's a bloody knife there. Not a bloody knife, it looks like a clean knife. It'll be a bit bloody later on, but. And let's go back. Sorry. Can I pester him? No. Right now I'm ready to leave. <laughs> Legendary ink ribbon. There's really no need for me to save here. Obviously, I could save there uh, when I come back and give him the uh, medicine he needs. And there's the old Resi steps loading screen. Same with good old doors. I'm so glad they kept the doors as well in the um, Resident Evil Remake Remaster, which released on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. You can't skip the door scenes, but I like the nostalgia. Oh, I remember the heartbeat of the uh, of this originally walking up the steps, knowing of a, an impending doom. Naked zombies, where are thou? Do not show yourself. Oh, that's mine. Okay, what? Okay, so R1 is to ready yourself and it's X. So R1 and X, okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh. Yeah. 
Zod, I think his name is. One of the most annoying characters, for me at least, in Resident Evil. Kind of like when Leonardo DiCaprio was playing. Wait, wait, don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Really? Well, great. Wait right there. I'm Sounds coming like over. Sounds like he's not hit puberty yet. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Just you should have done it, Claire, to be fair. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. I missed it. And I'm guessing friend, you're not from Umbrella either. Might be I'm wrong. No, Been a long I'm time. Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. Such I'll remember that. Name. Hey, I hear there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. No, no, she won't. Oh, the terror begins. I've got my gun, so which way did I come in from? Come in from there. I think that's the door I've got to go through. I can't go through here yet. I know one of the doors I go through is uh, there's a little cabin somewhere. Ah, yeah, this is the way. I want to go and see what's you what. Behind door. Hmm. Okay, I'm going door number two, so back to door number three. Now there are some zombie dogs. As I progress around the corner, if I remember correctly, you can ape run them. There's uh, some naked zombies in here, so I must be on guard. Ah, oh, there you are. Die, you stupid motherfucker. Okay, let's, let's move, Claire. Son of a bitch. Still hear me shuffling. Is it actually taking some hits or what?
I'm not too sure if he's dead. Okay, it seems to be dead. I can see if I can turn up a brightness a bit on this game. Oh no, you have to do it from your TV. Very handy tool, especially an old school resi. Can't open that box, can I? Mm. Yes, lovely. Now show me some odd zombies in here. I should dispose of them. Maybe. Hopefully. Ah, documents! Prisoner's Diary. <clears throat> May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today, Bob told me some crazy story of why he was put this, uh, put this place with me. Bob said that he used to be in attendance of the head of his place. His boss named Alfred supposedly placed him here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? <clears throat> May 20th. That warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. That does not sound good. At midnight, I'll sneak out. I've here to see him. I found I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is this going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since for my last entry, all my fellow inmates have been taken to a building. I know that I'm next. It's obvious that we're all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Blood stains on your bed sheets. Oh, is that Bob? That low life son of a bitch.
Damn you, Bob. Damn you to hell. Yeah, I wouldn't use those torturers. I wouldn't even rec recommend having a shower here, to be honest. It's, it's, I wouldn't trust the water. To be honest, not at all. And here are more guns. Have to go back into that building again. Let's get chased by some dogs. That's not bad. That might be bad. My chest says he was too guillotine, he'll have no head. You know what? I ain't gonna dispose of his dog to the most humane way possible. With my machine gun. Okay, my, these dogs aren't gonna get me at all. Waste those just yet. Uh, uh, oh, you're an enthusiastic zombie. Fuck off. This all seems like a good idea. What's my health like? Is it yellow? Yeah. No, I know it doesn't work. I don't. Aha! Now oh, remember. Obviously, you've got to put your items in this metal detector victory box thing, but when you get to the second island, which was disc two, do not forget the fire extinguisher. I can't exactly remember what I think the fire extinguisher, obviously, you put out a fire and it has some uh, fire really, I know, but I love some items. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security so, box. So, I must remember. Always carry fire extinguisher. Well, not always carry, but ensure that it's in my um, inventory box. Chris Redfield. 
What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Who would have thought? Umbrella? Doing that? To a Redfield? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Ugh. Believe Get me, I know. You petulant delinquent. What was that all about? He's a prick, Claire. There's no other way to put it other than no. Steve is a prick. Unlike arguably Steve from Minecraft. He seems like a top jolly fella. Wow. Oh yeah. Gotta go through a window to get that one. Is that anything on the wall to get? Could have a, a single green herb just to top up Claire's health, to be honest. Aha! A document! <coughs> Fax on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grisham. Purpose of entry. Carrying in the following materials. 1. New product sample from Material Metal Industries, COTG01. 2. Various delay commodities ordered by the prison. Note. 1. We'll use a transportation truck. 2. TG101, sorry. Sample will be stored in designated briefcase. Which will be the briefcase which fell out of the explosive helicopter at the very beginning. This thing here. Do oh, you know what I'm gonna? Yeah, or no. That's a metal plate. I've completely forgotten. I'm sure I have to get a metal plate or some kind first, as well, to go with this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'll need beer, which I think is actually eight sword. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I know I won't be able to carry these three, but I think when I uh, get through a window, maybe. I'll be able to get them. Can't switch it off. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Stay. Stay. Bullets at you. Take that. Okay, there's the fire extinguisher. I'm gonna need. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Okay, let's get rid of one item so I can pick up a key. So let's fuck off the ribbon for now. I'll come back and get that in a sec. Pick up a key, open up the gates, which wherever dogs are going to be, and then come back and get me a ribbon. Because I think I'm going to want to save when I. Uh, Going to sort of briefcase out. I'll go in this one here. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, I thought so.
Hey, the bastards are dead. I didn't take too much damage. It might be a run away from them, but... So it's easy in the long run to get rid of the bastards. No longer need it. Yes, I will. Let's go and get my trusty ink with him. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. channel as well you can see that I love steel books and I want that new alien steel book for me to say instead of this this week I'm gonna try and get around to watching that if I can probably go and watch it on my own because yeah this is isn't really into aliens movies but if I can get to a cinema during the day that's gonna be even better because I might even get an MT cinema Oh, fuck you, naked zombies. Fuck you. So I'm gonna go and use my ink ribbon. <laughs> Memory card slot one, I think I'll use. Save the space and slot two. Yeah. <laughs> 
go. There's our metal plate. And the document, yeah, I, 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 do you know what? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to read it because it could be some vital information. <clears throat> TG01 product description. Thank you for continuing to part and for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have see succeeded in creating the unique anti metal detec detection alloy, TG01. One, cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Two, cannot be pictured by Rio Inch Genography. I don't know what it is. At the immigration check. Three, lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this initiative, innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding your possible business opportunities. Metal Industries Co. Chief Developing Planner, Development Planner, Carl Redhill. Yeah, that's enthralling. You were naked zombies. Controls. Please deposit any metallic oh, items you have nicely. in the security box. weapons oh, this ain't gonna be good let's try not to die Back. 
don't think this is for this door here. No. It's for one just out here where the uh, naked zombies are lurking. somewhere down here. Or maybe I can light one. It's gonna see if there's any bullets. Oh yeah, I knew there was some bullets. Some herbs there as well. There's one bitch you can know. Carry them and mix them. Push him off the edge. I'm a crap though. I ain't gonna try because I don't wanna waste it for my health, but off of his hard hat. See him properly, due to the sun glare. Jesus Christ, he's a bullet sponge. Let's do a reload anim animation. Well, do I fuck with worm in here? Yes, I do fuck with worm for sure, but hopefully I won't fuck with worm. Just now.
sneaky little bastard. Dead. Are you kidding me? handgun bullets. These some I need now. Jeez. Are you kidding me? feeling that I don't need to come in here yet. Oh wow. Well. At least I've uh, seemingly got rid of some of the zombies when I come back in here at a later date. I'll just say if I don't run out of ammo places where I need to go like for now rather than later. Crossbow quite soon, you know, to be fair. Since there's uh, plenty of ammo of that line around. Yeah. 
one up Prince of Mine. Blow that lock up, I think. Yeah, completely wasted my time I reckon coming in here, but oh well. No handgun bullets, loads of bloody arrows from the bow, which is completely useless to me at the moment. I will carry that. Another bloody doorknob missing. Always away in Resident Evil. Where do those doorknobs go? That is probably the biggest mystery for the whole lure of the Resident Evil series. Great doorknob fair thief of 2001. Oh, yeah, we're going to see some gruesome deaths now. Oh, look, a bow, yes! <coughs> Memo on the past number. The emergency door lock system in a biology experiment room can be released with four digit passcode number. I hope you haven't forgotten that already. I have just received an order from a system administrator requesting us to change your past number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose your important memos, past numbers, or even chemicals. So, in the attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of a biology experiment room? I have decided to use a number signed on the picture as a pass number. If you have if you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency number pass number anyway. Blah, 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 blah. But just in case you know, take it easy, Mr. Gallus. You passive aggressive prick. Oh yeah, it's where you get those bloody Stretch Armstrong zombies. Oh, here we are. Anyway, because I still think, even if I could uh, remember it now, I still need, still need to get the item to activate me to get that code and get in that room where I think Stretch Armstrong is. Hazard contamination detected. Level three. Van Clare Van! Will close. All personnel evacuate. Have I got a QTA? I can't remember. This was the team where it might be before that time, mate. Eat up, Giants! That was close. It was close. But you did it, Claire. You did it. Good for you. But well, now, I can uh, get those arrows. If I remember correctly, you can hold a lo loads of these arrows, so. You better look, it should tide me over. Uh, 
I'll have to get a key code to swipe the key card machine thing, which will open up those metal doors, stop the alarm, and then I can progress to one of several creepy mansions of this game. Superb. Now I feel stocked up. Then when I get to my next uh, typewriter, probably call for an end to this gameplay vid. But I'm enjoying this, as I expected, because I love Resident Evil, but... I expect myself to struggle with this a bit more than I had done already, seeing as I haven't played this game for so long. There's a door, but I know I can't go through there yet. It's much later in the game. Maybe even when you play us with this. Loads of his arrows. So next to useless. What they do? Twenty percent ammo on that now. Not looking great. Okay, that's not too bad because I'll need those later anyway. I think in a submarine, submarine I think. Which is down in this way, which I'm not going to go down there yet anyway because I don't think I need to, and I'm severely pressed for items, and I think. And here's any herbs. Nothing what I can see. Well, let's go meet the uh, first Ashford encounter. I think it's a thirst aid spray in the sink. I ain't gonna get that yet because I can't be getting fucked up by some bats. I'm 
know I haven't got much uh, inventory space. Oh no, I used to remember this from the top of my head. I don't want to come back to that. What was 19, 1972 was all about? It's got to be a password to something. Painting puzzle. It's even this room or the opposite side of this floor. Ah, a stage room and an inventory box, I believe, somewhere. Sweet. Oh, let's put you in there. Let's put you in there for now. See what I can pick up. Ah, a document. Secretary's note. <coughs> Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I'm not his attendant, even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about it again, I could put my own life at risk. After all, it's a mystery why he is so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dawson. <laughs> Give me those bullets, mofo. I think it was bullets. Ah, no, it's a key card. Which, of course, should have the codes what I need to the computer downstairs. No, I need to combine it. There we are. NTC 0394. So I've got a clue where 1972 came from. So I can mix the herb. I'll put this near actually because this does take up a lot of space. I think it's a good time to call it a day. So I've been about a good hour or so, so I'm quit now because the wife thinks I'm going to be home soon. And I've got to stop at some point. I'm loving playing this game again. But without any ado, that concludes.
things this video playthrough. I'll certainly be doing more Code Veronica. Hopefully I'll be playing through the entirety of the game. So I do hope you join me for that one. And if you've liked this video or if you want to check out any of my content which is on my channel now and could up in the future, don't forget to subscribe and perhaps even like this channel. And you can even follow me on Twitter at Solid Snake. And that fight snake is spelt with a five at Solid the Snake. So until next time, my friends, thank you for watching and peace out.